There are too many monsters. Let's hold out for a little longer. The Cloud Knights should be here soon. Just run! These monsters can't get up here anytime soon. No can do, Miss Chingni. We're not abandoning you. Hold out a little longer. I know you can do it. You two have held out long enough. Help is at hand. Cloud Knights, formation! Prepare to engage! Hold on, King Me! We're coming to get you! I didn't know the Helm Master of the Skyfaring Commission dealt with situations like this in person. Indeed. I should be reviewing files in the Palace of Astrum. However, Ching Ni decided to put herself in danger and trouble our esteemed guests with her safety. As her mother, I couldn't sit idly by. Ching Ni, have you thanked your benefactors yet? Thank you, benefactors. No need, Miss Chingni. It was nothing. No need to be humble. You took great risks for the Xianzhou. I saw what you did. It was because of both of you that Chingni escaped unscathed. Words cannot express my gratitude. In fact, by way of thanks, I'd like to invite you to the Palace of Astrum for tea. It is about time we knew each other better. The feeling is mutual, Lady Yukong. We would be honored. Then, for now, I will excuse myself. Ching Ni's irresponsible actions caused much trouble for the two of you. Allow me to apologize once again on her behalf. Ugh, you always do this, Mother. Scold me before figuring out what actually happened. It was a dire situation. I was the only one who could... You promised me, Ching Ni. We shall discuss this when we return. Please excuse us, benefactors. I look forward to our meeting. I didn't know Yukong had that side door. Yes. I originally thought the head of the Skyfaring Commission was a suave businesswoman, like that young Foxian girl. But based on that fight, Yu Kong is clearly an experienced soldier. The moments she chose to strike and the targets she attacked were all impeccably strategic. Aside from saving her daughter, perhaps the Helmmaster was keen to see some frontline action. <laughs> well, I enjoyed a long stretch of peace on my homeworld. Long enough for me to start forgetting that I was also a fighter. After I boarded the Express, my old enthusiasm slowly began to return. But there's something I don't understand. Yes, Ching Ni piloted a star skiff without permission and put herself in danger, but she meant well. Nevertheless, Yu Kong's reaction suggests that there was something more. Anyway, Let's head over to the Palace of Astrum. Best not to keep Yu Kong waiting. Uh, let's avoid sudden exclamations like that once we're in the palace. Remember, this is no field trip. We're having tea with the Helm Master of the Skyfaring Commission. We'll need to act with diplomatic decorum. All right, let's head out before it gets late. You know I have the talent to make it! I can become the Lafu's best pilot, just like you were! Talent? You'd be dead if it weren't for those two travelers. Do you think stealing a star skiff and taking to the skies is a show of talent? What about being trapped by abominations? Did you at any moment think about what I would feel if something happened to you? Do you know how many people dream of a relaxing desk job at the Skyfaring Commission? 
You promised me to work responsibly in your post. Not only have you broken the Skyfaring Commission's regulations, you've broken your promise to me! I already told you! I had no choice! I want to help you and the Skyfaring Commission, not sit at my desk dealing with never-ending papers. That job doesn't suit me. I got the highest grade in the fighter pilot test. They all said I was a genius like you, like mother, like daughter. They were all jealous of me. But no one even knew I had to take the test behind your back. You would never have allowed me to go if I told you about it. Behind my back? Do you really think you could have walked into the test and sat in the cockpit if I hadn't given my permission behind the scenes? As for genius, don't mention that word to me again. Why do you insist on becoming a pilot? I don't understand. And I don't understand why you don't understand. Why can anyone in the world become a fighter pilot except the Hellmaster's daughter? Don't you realize how ridiculous that is? You may not want to fly anymore, but don't trap me down here with you! The Qingni! Where are you going? <sighs> I'm sorry you had to witness this. Apologies, Madam Yukong. We should have given you some time. You're right. An oversight on my part. On the contrary. I apologize for allowing my own personal matters to encroach on your time. We don't intend to pry into private business, Helmmaster Yukong. But if there's anything we can help with, please don't hesitate to ask. Family issues, I'm afraid. You probably heard a thing or two just now. Despite my earnest wish that she continue in her post, Ching Mi is fixated on becoming a fighter pilot. I may seem overpairing, but the situation she gets herself into sent a shiver up my tail. It's funny, isn't it? I've seen every disaster imaginable, from the Abundance Axis to a living planet. I thought I'd forgotten fear was. But when I fought alongside you, I realized there are still things that can terrify me. I'm sorry. Talking about such vexing matters is unbecoming in front of guests. I invited you here to gain a better understanding of the Express, not bore you with these trivialities. Oh, I prepared refreshments for you. Please, you must try this excellent whale tide spring. Please accept these gifts as thanks for saving my daughter. I had heard that the Nameless had traversed the Starry Sea, but I wasn't prepared for how much I could learn from you. Well, I'd heard from members of the Skyfaring Commission that you were a top-tier pilot, Madam Yukong, and an ace among the Cloud Knights. Now that I've seen you in action, I know the rumors were true. I hope to witness your flying ability for myself one day. We'll head off now. The Commission must be busy. I look forward to our next meeting, Madam Yukong. <laughs> On my flying ability, I'm afraid I'll have to disappoint you, Mr. Yang. The sky no longer suits me. How about this? My mom thanked you guys with refreshments, so I should do the same. Let me take you around Starskiff Haven. We can try the most authentic snack on the Lafu. Ooh, I know a really great place in Starskiff Haven to Starskiff watch. I'm proud to be Madame Yukong's daughter. I've wanted to become a legend like her for as long as I can remember. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Please don't mention the mung bean soda again. Yu Kong is a survivor of that war. Her best friend, Tai, perished on the battlefield. 
Miss Tsai, I remember her, her husband, but when it came, it was Tsai's death. Was, if madam. Where are Miss Thanks for top? You are welcome. I suppose you're, I can under, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry. Mom feels down. She usually goes to take in a view of the Jade Gate. She should. Mom? Ching Ni? Why are Mr. Yang and they here too? Miss Ching Ni kindly agreed to show us around Star Skiff Haven. She mentioned she was trying to mend things between you, but was feeling shy about it. We volunteered to come with her. Thank you. I must apologize for the trouble my daughter has brought you. Mom! All right, it's getting late. Let's talk once we're home. Actually, I want to talk to you about something right now. I want to become a fighter pilot, no matter what. <sighs> We've talked about this many times. No means no. Some people uh, try to blend in but... and infiltrate the Palace of Astro. Seems like Miss Ching Ni is a little hesitant. Uh, try giving her a little push. I thought Mr. Yang said we shouldn't interject. What should I say? Is that... Sai's diary? How did you... I understand now. I'm sorry, Ching Ni. I cannot support your dream because... I made a promise to someone else. I don't expect to gain your forgiveness. I... I just hope you can understand my reason. Mom, what are you talking about? I'm your daughter. <laughs> Our bond is bigger than forgiveness and reason. I'll listen to anything you have to say. Caution. Some people. Just like In you, of Astro. I once longed for the sky. I know what it feels like to fly through infinite space, to be surrounded by the vast expanse of nothingness, with unimaginable splendors looming in the distance, to float like a single leaf in the fathomless stellar sea. Some called it loneliness, but we called it freedom. Sai was like that too. We were friends since childhood. We flew star skiffs everywhere, causing trouble until the knights caught us and dragged us before General Jingyuan. We soon became the most elite fighter pilots of the Skyfaring Commission. It wasn't an easy life. You could even say it was a cruel one. You never knew if the friend next to you would make it back alive. Of course, the in same could be said of yourself. May try to blend in but those are my best memories. We would strike out into the sky, repelling demons and upholding justice. The blood we shed bore witness to it all. The life of a Foxian is short and fleeting. Surely we should dedicate ourselves to such glorious aims. Oh, system space all clear today. Great weather for flying. <laughs> We're engaging the main Borison fleet this time. Don't get too excited. Huh? Sounds like maternity leave knocked the wind out of your sails. Feeling rusty? <laughs> oh, shut it. I think you're just excited because you haven't flown with me for so long. Did you miss me? Of course I missed you. The galaxy felt smaller without you in my cockpit. Say, Sai, really didn't think you'd come back. Do you really like flying star skiffs that much? <laughs> you bet. Sure, it's exhausting, dangerous, low paid. <laughs> Plus, you only get back to the Lafu a few times a year. But given the choice, 
I'd always pick this. I guess I already touched the sky. The mind is mysterious. I've lived for more than 200 years. Forgotten nearly every conversation I've ever had. But I still remember us shooting the breeze that day. It's crystal clear. It was the last time I spoke to Tsai. <laughs> Sai? Hold on, Sai. Sai, open your eyes. Sai. Thank you. You go. I've, I've had a good life. But please. Let Jeannie walk the same path. Don't let her become a fighter pilot. Sai, she's your daughter. You'll be able to tell her yourself, do you hear? The rescue's almost here. Stay with me. Jingni is waiting for you. She lost Guang Yen. She can't afford to lose you too. Wake up! Sai! 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 Climbed out of the burning carcass of the star skiff. I looked up into a clear sky, pure and seemingly unadorned by the atmosphere that arced far above us. It was the most beautiful sky I had ever seen. But all I could feel was unbearable pain. I sunk to the ground and gazed up helplessly. In my dream, that was the day I died. Mom, this is the first time I've heard you talk about this. But I'm not a little girl anymore. The road of a fighter pilot is a cruel one. I know that now. But I won't hide from it. I'm not afraid to walk the same road as her. If my sacrifice can bring happiness to the citizens of the Sienjo, then I'm ready for it. You are so very similar to Tsai. The more outstanding you became over the years, the more fearful I turned. I've known for a long time you were ready, but I was not. You know, the cruelty has never claimed victory. Me, Tsai, your father, Guang Yan. We were prepared for the worst when we enlisted. But do you know how we won that war? The war that took away Tsai and the lives of hundreds of thousands of fighters. The Rainbow Arbiter's Define Arrow. Yes. The mighty blessing of the Rainbow Arbiter annihilated all abominations in a single strike. We had to pay with the blood of hundreds of thousands of soldiers just to halt their advance. If crushing our enemies was as easy as breathing for the Rainbow Arbiter, then what purpose did our sacrifices serve? Under the might of an eon, the sacrifices of ordinary creatures are but a joke. We are nothing. We mean nothing. Mom... But I never should have allowed my fears to compel me to make decisions for another person. <laughs> Even if that person is my daughter, I brazenly interfered with your choices. I am sorry. That is my failure as a mother. Mom, 
You don't need to apologize. Really. You don't need to. I'll take you to fill in the paperwork tomorrow. You'll start as ground crew, just like Tsai and I did. I believe that one day, you'll make an outstanding fighter pilot. Huh? Really? <laughs> Thank you, Mom! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! I was afraid of you following in my footsteps. And more afraid of you taking after Tsai. But if this is your choice, then I'm willing to support you. Even if you live to regret it. Mom? I have one last request. Tell me. I want to... fly with you at least once. <laughs> I'm afraid I can't. I won't be flying anymore. But... why? Because... I already touched the sky. Take caution. Some people may try to blend in and in-